Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another episode of Sim Airports. Today, in episode number four, we're going to go ahead and extend security, ticketing, add an extra gate, move baggage, claim restrooms, and uh, yeah, it's a, it's it's a big list. It really is a big list today. But we have the money, and I have. I just want to go ahead and improve the. I want to add more gates, but for that, we need to expand the facilities. Security is doing much better with this addition, but if I'm to add in a third and a fourth gate, then we're just gonna sort of have the same issues. So we need to move security up. But for that, we need to move ticketing up. And then on top of that, I want to go ahead and. I want to make this departure lounge a little bit better. So what I really want to do is I want to go ahead and have, I want to extend this queue up to this wall here. So I want to have the output probably down the bottom here. But then I want to move baggage claim down so not everyone's in this tiny space here. Along with that I want to move the bathrooms. I want to go ahead and move the CFO's office. And finally we are doing some more research because I want to go ahead and get road building available. So we can also start, probably not in this episode realistically. But I want to go ahead and sort out the roads at the front of this airport so we know really how far we're going to be coming out and how big a gap I should have. I think this is probably an adequate gap here, but that means that we need to go ahead and align the ticketing hall with that as well. So if, if you understand what I'm saying, it all sort of makes sense. So let's go ahead and start off here by adding in some foundations. So we're going to go ahead and add this in here. Then what I want to do is also go ahead and add in... We're going to have a security breach for a while to be honest, but I want to go ahead and literally do probably about that there. So quite a large expansion, but we're going to be moving things right up. And if I'm totally honest, I want to come right up to... Or maybe not quite actually. This is maybe as far up as I will go, but we can always go backwards seed as well. So that's a real option which we can go ahead and explore. I don't know if I want to have offices in the ticketing area or if I want to have offices down in the... Yeah, I've not thought this through, have I? Definitely not. We need to go ahead and dismantle that. And then we need to go ahead and... Let me think. We need just a normal door. But we need sliding doors. Um, what is it called? Yeah, sliding doors. You guys will do. So we'll put one of you guys in there. And... Yeah, that should work, so I, I, I really didn't think that through at all, but that gap is working, so people might be a little bit delayed this morning, which is not too good. But, oh well, it's, I mean, it is my problem, yes, but it isn't really my problem. We've also got a security breach now as well, which that is not good, so... I don't think anyone is actually sneaking by, but it means that it's going to affect the planes, I think, so... That's not good. People aren't... People are still boarding that plane, but I don't know if the next plane's gonna... land. The next one's doing at 9.15, so not too long now. So we'll see. You're still staying en route, so... And the thing is, we've actually gone ahead and patched that up, so there's now no longer a security breach. Which is good, so I don't think we missed a plane, fortunately. Right, are we going up this... Do we want to go up any further? The reason is I want to have some realism where, like, the plane takes off and it's not obstructed. So that plane with... I'm not going to go any higher up than that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and extend this and put in just a small gap here. Basically fill this out here. So that costs another 20000 all in all. We need to get this worker. I mean, you're a bit stuck there, mate, and that's probably not the best thing. Now we're down to 68 k so spent quite a lot of money. But as you can see, security needs this upgrade, it really does. We also need to go ahead, I want to expand all down here as well though. I really need to move the toilets as well and just... I need... Uh, there's so much I want to do, honestly, there really is, so... We just need to get to it, that's the bottom line. Right, so all this has moved up, which is good, and we're gonna go ahead and... I want to clear that, because that's gonna frustrate me, that's for sure. Then add in foundation in there, and... That is the extended ticketing area now done. I can also move backwards as well, which I think I'm going to do. So I'm not going to go right the way back, just again for this realism. You would never have a building right up against the runway, but if we go back a few like that. So that's only two tiles, but it will make a difference because it will allow for larger and better queues. Let's clear that little bit there, because that's going to annoy me. 
And again, we actually we maybe don't have a security breach here because there's technically vending machines and stuff in the way, so I don't know if that really No we do. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that makes logical sense. You're not gonna have like a food vending machine preventing a security breach, so but again, things have been sorted pretty pronto, so can't really complain there. Right, so with that done, we should have that operations research complete, and I want to get your office in. So we'll deal with the ticketing area shortly. I need to go ahead and jump down here, and we need to... And I, I want to expand things down here, so the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and add that in there. And that would work out nicely, and then... I want to bring some more stuff further down as well. The bathroom's going to get smaller and it's going to move over. To be fair, this area's fine right now. It's just, yeah, it's not good. I want to go ahead and have the restroom uh, like in line with this bottom wall here. And then I want to go ahead and I'm happy to keep the other office. Yeah, this can all work. It's just the bathroom's essentially going to get smaller. Up here as well, we're going to have an extra bathroom in this part of the airport, so I think that should be good use. I might actually go to the other side of this fence here. That's not a bad idea. So we can go ahead and consider that. I think I need to extend the garbage zone. While I've got this game on pause, this needs extended evidently, so I just don't know if the garbage truck's not coming enough or whatnot, but yeah, interesting. Right, so the reason I'm paused is because I need to go ahead and grab myself some sliding doors. I'll just type in door. You know what? Save us all some time. I don't like to type too much because I've got a mechanical keyboard and that tends to make a bit of unnecessary noise. Then on top of that, let's go ahead and do a little bit of that there. And that is pretty much the problem solved, which is good. People are going back through there, which they shouldn't right now, but hey ho. That is that. Let's dismantle you, dismantle you, and dismantle you. Then what I want to do is we're going to go ahead and jump in here, expand the wall, and go across there. Then I want to objects. We're going to go for normal door, and this normal door is going to go in this gap here. Then we're going to go ahead and... I guess it's probably clear, so we're going to clear this small section here. Then I'm going to go ahead and jump into zone. We're going to numb this. And that's the bathroom just moved back. A very small change, but it is going to make the world a difference, especially with seating going forwards. Now, with that done, I can go ahead and... Let's add the next office in here. So let's go ahead and do foundations. Again, just a small office for the time being. I don't really need anything too fancy. And all these changes are starting to add up, which is really, really good. So, I mean, ticketing's going to be... It's going to be a big job. And then that is a knock-on effect for security as well, so that's also going to be a big job. The real big thing I said in the last episode is that I want to make security top-down. And what I mean by top-down is, I've explained it before, right now this is going from the flow from the left to the right. You come in at the left, you come in at the right. I want you to come in at the top and enter, or exit, sorry, at the bottom. That would be the best system here, I think, because... All this weaving's a little bit unnecessary, and it's honestly it's just stupid. So I'm 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 really not a big fan of it at all. Right, so we're getting a little bit of office issue here. I'm saying the word right today a lot. That's not uh, that's not a good thing. I'm not gonna or not gonna lie as well. I just edited two parts of episode number 25 and 26 of my Grand Canyon series, and my word, I say that way too often in there as well. It's it's habits, you know, everyone's got go-to phrases when they're, I guess, thinking, because I'm always trying to think forwards as well, so... I guess that's me just... It's just who I am, I guess. Every, everybody's got some form of saying. Right, so let's go ahead and office you. Then I want to go ahead and go into staff, something we've not been into for a while. And you're gonna sit out there while I organize your office. I did this definitely in the wrong order. So we need office furniture. Which is going to come under office stuff. Office chair, we can stick you in there. And you should move in. There we go, so that works out perfecto. You'll get your chair in there shortly. And that means now we have two offices as well. The reason I've extended baggage claim, and I'm going to extend baggage claim even more, is because we're going to need more baggage carousels going forward as well. That's definitely something we'll need. So let's dismantle you. Dismantle you and... Things are really on the up. I'm really, really happy with how things are. 
Long term restrooms are going to move again because this is going to be where our gate's going to be eventually but I mean that's a, a while down the line. Before we do that we'll extend down this finger anyway but we're just not gaining the ca capital really right now to go ahead and be able to achieve that. So let's jump back into here. Let's go ahead and clear you and that's pretty much a new baggage claim sorted. Baggage claim was never getting that a large change to anyway but let's go ahead and zone that up and then zone that up and that means now we can easily get in an extra baggage carousel which is good. I think from what my understanding is it's that per baggage whatever this is here the baggage rotation station I only need one output so until I build another one of them I really don't actually need an extra baggage carousel however I think it just adds to the realism so we'll go ahead and stick that in there and that I think just looks that little bit better. Right so next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and resolve the ticketing while we're still gaining money as well because we are going to get a new gate in this episode. So what we're going to do is, do I want a bathroom? I think I do want a bathroom up here actually so we're going to go ahead, shit. Now I'm so glad I thought of that but what happens if I want people to exit from the terminal building coming in on a flight and go back to ticketing? This is something which is uh, really important in this game and it would save queues on the outside. So should we have a small corridor which comes up here and then comes out like halfway along? That would be nice and that's what exactly I'm going to go ahead and do. So we're going to fill this whole section in here. Then you'll poke out here. So we'll have the part of the ticketing up here then part of it down here sort of split. I quite like that idea. I have the gap in the middle for the exits. And yeah this is going to work out nicely. Very very nicely. Unfortunately you deleted a wall which I wanted and I think there's going to be a security breach right now so we'll go or no it's not a security breach technically which is good. So I mean I need to move security up. Um, is ticketing going to be big enough? That's the real question. What's the problem? We got a baggage routing issue which is not good so we jump into utilities and I want conveyor belts. I don't really see how this is an issue honestly because it's not. I mean that's the bottom line, it's not. So yeah, interesting. I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to extend this out a little bit up here actually. I mean it's behind the fence so it's, I mean it is realistic. What I want to do is I just want to extend you out probably up to about, probably up to there. So that's going to cost me 17 grand. I want to go ahead and demolish this bit here. This is where the new toilets are going to be. And then that'll work out nicely. That's just be a small corner and it's, it's it, this is gonna is this airport's gonna be so so good once it's done, but just getting the starting facility so we can do the mass expansion is such a big issue. And I'm so glad that we did sandbox mode because allowing like me doing sandbox mode allows me to just plan it how I want it. I don't really have to worry about anything else. Pause. Pause, pause, pause. Add this line in and then that's going to make a difference. So I think you guys are about to build like proper outside walls there and that just wouldn't work. We've got a security breach but it's during the night so it's not actually that bad. And then with that done we're going to go ahead and probably just wall this area over and make it into a restroom which is good. So this is good. Oh this is oh, so perfect, so perfect. Right, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have two ticketing zones. We're going to have a ticketing zone back here. And then this new one's going to be over here. Like that. And then we're going to have one, two, three, four, five. That's a bit excessive. We'll do an a area of four at the front here. That works out nice. And this area in the middle is going to disappear. So what I'm going to start to do now is we're going to start to just change this up a little bit. I do want to have a lot more of these ticketing kiosks because they seem popular and again going back to like the realism and the modern day they're becoming a lot more popular. Airlines like Ryanair for example it's only a bag drop now they have they don't even have you have to check in online or at a screen when you turn up to the airport so it's again just sort of reducing the people power there's not much need when computers can do it which I'm one of these people which you need to keep up with technology unless you fall behind. I'm not, I'm very much for robots and AI and all this sort of stuff. It sort of aligns with 
what I'm studying and, or not really I guess, but I mean it's an interesting area which I like to read about and I enrolled in an extra class on it. I, d I mean I didn't take the class or the exam but I read some of the information on artificial intelligence and quite interesting, not gonna lie. I, I wouldn't have mind taking it but I took databases instead and databases are just such a fundamental thing which you need to have in programming. Anyway, let's go ahead and get back to what we're doing. So while all this is going on, we're going to go ahead and we're going to start to add in new ticketing desks. So ticketing desks is going to start with a T and we're going to go ahead and rotate you. Now one thought I've recently had is that this airport looks awful. And it really does look absolutely awful. Blocks. Oh, there's a conveyor belt here. That's a bit frustrating. Is a conveyor belt literally come up this wall? I think it maybe does, which is frustrating. Adding in two desks for the time being isn't a bad thing, actually, so... Or is it a bad thing? Right. Let's go ahead and... Jump back into here. We might need to reroute this. So what we're gonna do instead is I want to go ahead and do that, and then do that. And then let's get that built very quickly, guys. So... It's already going that way, even though it's not built. Which is odd, so... There we go, it's going in now, so we're going to go ahead and remove this and remove this. I think it's just because it's going through the wall, so it's better. And we can see, whoa, whoa, no, 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 no. Where did those extra staff even come from? You guys also shouldn't be using this yet either, because you're just skipping security. You're a little bit of a, a cheeky boy. All right, let me go ahead, and this is me just, I'm jumping from A to B to A to B, so I do apologize that the flow of this episode is legit all over the place because we are jumping around. We've done the baggage and now I'm going ahead and doing this. I need to remember though that we are extending security so ticketing needs to be further up and it's all going to work out. I am just legit all over the place. Right, so you're going to go in there and there and you can sort of see what I'm trying to achieve now. Now I've moved that baggage, we can go ahead and we should be able to use and place these without any issues. There we go, so one, two, three, four, five. I can't place you there but that's not a big problem and then we're gonna literally clear this area for the time being. And I'm starting to think now that we might have two security areas because we've got such a large map still to use so... We could definitely have like two terminals because the map allows for it, it really really does. Which is exciting. I want to touch on the runway issue. So some people were asking for parallel runways and other people were asking for... Or someone made a really good comment like, I want to have a lot of runways, yes. But at the same time, it's good for me to go ahead and... Like Heathrow only has two runways and it's like the... What? Sixth, seventh busiest airport in the world. So don't get me wrong, it's going down that list at a pretty rapid rate because it's not modernizing. I think that's why they approved the... Heathrow Terminal or Runway 3, sorry, and I mean it's 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 needed. It's so badly needed. The price to fly into London Airport right now is too high because the demand is it's too high. It honestly really is too high. It's an absolute joke how much it costs. Plus the problem is a lot of airports like Stansted, it's like 50 miles away from London. Even with the Stansted Connect, which is good, that takes what 45 minutes. That costs an extra 30 quid. So. It's, it's a bit ridiculous, I'm not going to lie. Right, so now we've got some of all this in, we're going to go ahead and get it set up. So, let's work backwards from here, so let's go and zig, zig, and then keep zigging. So, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then we'll have eight. So what I should probably do, I should do a one queue to every four check-in desks. So that's one gap, two, yep, so I need to weave once more like that and that works out nicely. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and assign you to that. We're going to assign you to that, you to that, and then this one here to that. Then the next queue is going to start here, oh no, no, no. Let's go ahead, can we close out of this? Thank you. Let's go ahead and weave this down. Unfortunately, people are in the way right now, but you sort of get what I'm going for here. While all that's happening, I want to go ahead and dismantle this one, dismantle this one, and dismantle this one. 
Then I want to go ahead and jump back into queues. I'm going to remove our first ever queue. What a shame, you know, this is where everything started in episode 1 and it's, it's now disappearing but we're modernizing which is good. And you'll be able to see really what I'm going for here if you can't already in just a second. So I want to go ahead and clear this and you're probably starting to get an idea now of what this back corridor really is and how it's going to work. I really want to have a nice open area as you come in this. I mean it's this door right now, we're going to have more doors further up but we've got a corridor of four here so so much room for chairs, for display, for people walking. It's just going to work out so nicely. So let's go ahead and is there any other issues because passenger satisfaction is low. I'm not really caring too much about the schedule right now honestly, I'm just, just not in my line of interest at all. So let's go ahead and weave you up, keep you going and then will you do another... I think you need to go another one more which is, I, I mean again I've got the room so that's fine. Then we'll add those extra to in later but what I'm going to do is we're going to assign you to here and assign you to here. So that works out which is good. Then I can go ahead and move all this, remove all this now at the bottom. So dismantle, dismantle and dismantle. So how many check-in desks are we going to have in total? Holy shit. Things are not good this way though because we've not set up the new conveyor belt have we? And that's bad. So if I jump into utilities, conveyor belts, yeah I need to do this pretty badly don't I? So we need you to come across, you to come across, you to come across. You get where I'm going with this here. We need a uh, conveyor belt coming down there, you across. I don't want to select the staff and I really don't want to fire them because I need them for my airport to function. Right, so that change is going to go ahead and right now this ticketing area at the bottom is essentially out of action because we've now modernized this top bit so everybody should now be using this top bit which is what I'm wanting. We're in this period in the afternoon where there's no flights right now so that's good. I'm going to tidy all this up very shortly. How are we doing on the research? The next is road building which is what I want because that's going to be so useful for outside. Then where are we now? We are back to adding in some, I need to go ahead and remove the old conveyor belts first. So how do I do this? Just demolish and then demolish all that there and then that there for now and that's good. So that's gone. Then let's go ahead and pause. I'm sort of building, pausing, building, pausing. Again, probably not the most efficient but it'll do for now. And then we just need another one or two ticketing desks. I don't know how many we're going to get in here to be honest. Only just the one right now and I can't seem to do it there which is where I want to do it and keep this nice and neat and tidy. Oh this is frustrating. How am I going to do this? Jump in here. Why can't I do that? That is just so silly. Why can I not do that? Is the game maybe just not updated or TI ticketing rotate. I can't. Right you're going to go there temporarily. Eventually I'll move you up. Maybe this can be like the... I don't know, like the, the special check-in desk where you've got like long items, oversized items like skis, uh, fencing equipment, I'm just randomly listing stuff off the top of my head. Right, so with that change done, that top bit's in good action, so we're going to go ahead and diesel in this whole section here. Then what I want to do is I want to go ahead and queues, we're going to remove this whole section here. Then what I want to do is I want to go ahead and do zone. We're going to do the new ticketing zone which is going to go in probably about there. Then this, what do you require? So I don't want ticketing desks in here though. I do, you're not, that's not your purpose. I really don't want this. You're literally going to be aligned with ticketing kiosks and it's going to be so smart. Let me go ahead and build, let's build first. Build a wall along there. Then we're going to go ahead and jump back into objects, scroll down, we're looking for T, ticketing kiosks, rotate you around, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Overkill? Yeah, probably, not going to lie, but it does the job which is good. Then we can dismantle, 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 dismantle. A lot of this stuff's just going to move further up now honestly, it's not going to be that big a difference. 
Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to be able to do what I want to do. Which, first of all, you've gone one too many. So we're going to go ahead and none. Unfortunately, this error is going to stay here unless I bridge the gap. Which is frustrating because I wanted to have this small section in between. But, I mean, it's not that a big a deal. So then with that done, we're going to go ahead and... I need to chop this end bit off. How annoying is that? My OCD is literally just like, I had to stop them. OCD was just catching up with me. So let's go ahead and clear that and clear that. Just small things. And that's the new ticketing. And then that means that all this area is going to be used in the future for... Oh, everything's going to be so much better up here. Right, so the next thing I need to do is... We're running out of time. I'm not going to lie. This new ticketing zone is probably going to take this whole episode. Which is unfortunate, yeah, but it's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes, you know? So I'm thinking objects. Now, I need to go ahead and get a lot of this stuff back in here. So I need flight information. That's probably the most important. So we need one of you there. One of you's definitely there. And then we'll have another one probably down here, to be honest, just opposite the ticketing things there. So then we can remove you, which is good, because you're just sort of out in the middle of nowhere for some reason there. Then with that done, this area, this is great. This is looking great. You can really get an idea of what I'm going for now. Then the next thing we're going to do is just add in some small little details in here. So I want to go ahead and add in a garbage there and then there. Then let's add in maybe just a small seating area. Whereabouts are, what are the seats called again? Benches. B for benches. So, let's get some of you guys in here. That, you fit in there perfectly and so do you. I really wanted some food vending, but unfortunately that's not going to work. Then the next thing is going ahead and just getting in some sliding doors. Not W please, WSD just fuck me over there. Let's go ahead and rotate you, add you in there. Add you in about there and that's quite evenly spaced. So. I'm liking how that looks going forwards, and all is good. All is really, really good. So that's the ticketing upgraded, and it looks more modern, it's better, and we still have money, which is a nice addition as well. So the next thing for me to do is, in the next episode, I'm going to go ahead and upgrade security. What I'm going to do in between this and the next episode is, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the, the extension of the finger, this is going to go quite far along here. We're going to go ahead and build that there, which might cause a security breach. Then I want to, I'm just going to pre-build the gate. So you're going to go in here. So I've actually overcooked it, but I mean, that's not a bad thing necessarily. I'm going to pre-build two actually. So I'm just, I'm just being optimistic because I really need to get things on the go at a better and faster rate. And in the next episode, things are just going to be so, so so much better. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up here, tidy and start off some of this before the next episodes, and still got so much to do, but I hope you are enjoying the series. If you've got any thoughts or suggestions, then please go ahead and leave them down in the comment section below. And with that said, that is all for this video, ladies and gentlemen, so thank you very much for watching. My name is Conflict Nerd Calm, and I'm out.